tubers. <coughs> well, I'm calmed down enough to talk to you, so what the hell. I have been uh, having some troubles with the O3 Tundra. The rear main oil seal was leaking. And uh, I had the Mark Jacobson Toyota in Durham, North Carolina fix it. It has taken three attempts. And I'm not complaining about the three attempts. Hopefully it's fixed. They haven't charged me for the second and third try. I have nothing to complain about there. Let me just state that for a fact. They've been fair about they keep trying on their dime. The problem I have is every time they give me the damn truck back, my transmission fluid looks like this. And the first two times I changed it and didn't complain, didn't say anything, well, this morning, dropped off the truck for the fix again, and damn it, I showed them nice clean fluid, say clean on the stick, see? And what do I get back? Fluid that looks like this. And when I try to tell them their containers are dirty, no, no, we clean them, we're clean. If you look on my slip, they were supposed to refill with clean fluids. I told them to specifically. So, you know, these guys are just out to lunch. And you leave this sandy, dirty crap in from their rotten containers, you might as well just plan on buying a new transmission in six months a year. It's that simple, you know. And then for him to dip his fingers on it and say, oh, that's not too bad. It was clean this morning, brand new fluid, Toyota. Type T4 ATF transmission fluid. See, I actually went and bought some more from Toyota. Same stuff, different labels, same stuff. Toyota brand crap. Now, I changed it four days ago. Clean this morning, now it's filthy. I'm gonna drain and change again, and I use the very simple drain, measure, and replace through the dipstick. Not brain surgery. And I'll bet you in a week from now, it will still be clean. Not soiled. Ooh. Somebody's out to lunch. So let's change the uh, transmission fluid. What do you think? All right, we're under the truck. And so far, that looks dry, but you never know, you know. That's where the rear main oil seal is. Right there is where they split it. On that flat bottom piece, that's where the transmission comes off the motor. And uh, right there is that big flat pan you're looking at. There's only one plug in it, that's the transmission. Up forward is the oil pan, you can't confuse the two. Okay, so I'm just gonna drain it out and measure. All right, I want you to see this, okay, look. This is four day old fluid, all right? It was perfectly red clean this morning and now it's black sand. This is crap. Oh, and let me tell you, if you're uh, changing your transmission, I recommend that you change this little tiny, uh, whatever, it, oh, uh, gasket we'll call it. But uh, yeah, here it is, see? Change this little gasket. It's on the end of your drain plug. You will be much happier. Okay, so you wanna know, Dusty. Let me free up Dusty here. All right, so there's one bottle in. Now, I take my empty bottle and I go back to my two buckets. 
and I repeat my process like before. With what spilled, that, that little bit of shortness, I'd say three bottles should uh, top me off nicely. So, you go over here, you pour in your third bottle. I didn't know it, but the uh, camera died. Ran out of space and uh, shooting the last little bit of the transmission refill. So I'm gonna go over it. What I did was, I took a funnel, and right there where you see the transmission dipstick, let me see if I can zoom in on this for you. Right there, the transmission dipstick. You pull that out and that's where you stuff the funnel in to uh, actually pour in the fluid. And you should measure what you take out and that's what to put back in. Don't overfill your transmission. Now, just so you can see, here are two samples of what came out. Each one of these samples is probably only less than a week of running time. And they were perfectly clean before they went into the Toyota dealer. But when it comes out after done servicing, this is what I get. Now I did change the fluid, run it around. And of course, I've checked the level, but after about 20 miles, if you look closely, you can see this is a beautiful, clean, red fluid. That's how I gave it to the dealership in the morning. Three-day-old fluid looked just like this. And when I got it back from the car dealer and checked the dipstick, this is what my finger looked like. This black dirty gritty no red no shiny nasty 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 and even when I asked them to use clean fluid don't reuse my stuff this is what I get back it's just sad okay listen one last thing I'm gonna do for you tubers because I really like you is according to the instruction manual that Haynes manual I've got they say that in order to check the transmission fluid the truck needs to be running that way everything's circulating and where it's supposed to be at so you start your truck up If you've just done the change, shift through the gears up and down once or twice just to make sure the fluid is totally distributed. Pretty simple. You pull out the dipstick, clean it off, and if you look closely, see if I can get the camera to look at this. I got a hot and a cold. Cool and hot, I should say. Where is it? Cool and hot. So right now, I'd call my transmission cool because I've only run around a little. You put it in. Push it all the way down until it clicks into place over the safety wire. Pull it out and you look. And what do I have? On this side, it's in the middle of the cool, the cool. I don't know if you can see it. And on this side, it's just barely touching the cool mark. Might need a little more, might not. I don't want to overfill my transmission. I'm just going to check it again in a day or two and see what I like. But again, it's that beautiful, clean red color. Oh, and 
also, I might just add in this video that I tried the stop leak stuff for the rain, rear main oil seal. It did not work. So anyways, that's what's going on. These, this Mark Jacobson Toyota is returning my truck with dirty fluids even when I specifically ask them, can you please not do this? I'm not going to complain about three times to fix it. I'm not going to complain about the dents they made in the hood. They did do a nice job, it seems, on the whole brake, booster, purge valve, all that repair seems to be correct. You know, I'm not trying to take an, away anything from them. I'm just saying that, oh God, it was so, it just upset me so much to keep getting my car back, my truck with these kind of fluid, this fluid in the transmission, in less than a year, I'd have to buy a new transmission or a rebuild. It ain't right, when, especially when I ask him. I took the first one, I said, not, no problem. The second one, I changed it and I showed it to him, and I get it back the third time and I'm still getting bad fluid. What would you do? Stop going.